you know, as a photographer, there are just some things that I really, really cannot stand with certain people. And I'm just like, damn, every time I scroll on Instagram or TikTok or some kind of social media, it's always someone just like downplaying or asking certain things for photographers or some kind of stereotype. And I'm just like, yo, when will the madness end? How's it going guys? Pro Image Dry here and I'm back with another video for you guys and this is a talking head video on a topic that I just want to put out there because what the actual... It's come to my attention that photographers go through a lot honestly and I just notice these things on a daily basis. It's not like these are things I just seek out to find honestly. They just come to me either through personal experiences or shared experiences and I can honestly relate. So this is just going to be a list of the top five things that photographers have to go through and suffer on a daily basis. Sometimes on a monthly basis. I don't know. It's just something that I'm pretty sure if you're a photographer and you're watching you can relate to this. And honestly, some of these things might just apply to myself. I don't know. Let's let's get into it. Starting at number five is going to be the whole... Oh my God, your prices are too high. <sighs> the reason why this is at number five for me is because I personally didn't start photography to be a business. I got inspired by a lot of great, fantastic people on Instagram who just wanted to share their work, honestly. And I saw the kind of things that they were doing with their craft and how I would be able to just take up a camera and... Again, use it as a paintbrush. I know I say that a lot, but it's really the only reason why I even bothered doing photography in the first place is because I wanted to tell a story. Now, as someone who doesn't do business, I can see why this would get annoying for a lot of photographers. Listen guys, photography is a very expensive hobby and what we do as photographers goes really unappreciated. I'll get to that one in a second, but it takes a lot of effort to do this crap. It's very expensive, very arduous, and you really need to know what you're doing if you're going to start selling your work or providing some sort of service. You cannot go into this craft hack bake if a photographer is charging you five hundred dollars for 100 photos or, or whatever is in the package negotiate it out with him but don't go you wouldn't go up in a store and say oh, this 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 bottle of I don't know Hennessy is 70 80 dollars um can't you give it to me for like 50 that's mad expensive like what you can't you cannot do that you're gonna go in you're gonna pay for it you're gonna leave and you're gonna be happy you might feel regret but you still got the product you cannot walk into a business or establishment and start demanding that they change their prices you can't do that now if you want a price match it's a different story but we're talking about independent contractors here so well, let's not let's not get out <laughs> but anyway like i said Please, enough with the whole telling photographers what their prices should be. Now, I will say there are some photographers that do overcharge, and I even went back and forth with someone about this. Not a bad one, but I went back and forth, and they were saying that amateur photographers coming into this field tend to over inflate their prices and they're just amateurs i don't agree with that i started out with my iphone and i'd be damned if i'm charging 300 dollars for iphone pics you get what i'm saying but let's move on number four is going to be the whole perverted photographer fallacy i've made a video on this but I took it down because I really want to reiterate what I mean by this. There are some people that pick up the camera for nefarious reasons. I will say this, scope those people out and don't shoot with them. You can often tell how a photographer is just based on the pictures again that he or she takes. Photography is an art form. It's not uniform, honestly. Yes, we press the button. Yes, we, yes. But you got to understand photography is a whole science, photo, graphy <laughs> photography means the study of light basically so we have to know everything it's a whole it's a whole process we got to get the right composition shutter speed iso i can go on and on white balance these things matters it's not just the pressing the button is the easy part but i'll get into that later but yeah no seriously that whole perverted photography thing i can't have me how many times have you heard as a photographer oh you're a photographer you see a lot of girls naked you must you must this you must that mm, i don't know i don't trust photographers because ex I've had this told to me so many times and it never gets any less insane every time I hear it. Please, if you're not a photographer and 
you never really picked up the camera and like tried it for yourself please stop saying that because the majority of photographers majority of photographers are not like that the majority of us are just either trying to make money and that's probably where you'll find more so-called perverts well then again anyway <laughs> that's probably where you're gonna find those types but people who are just you know myself shout out to people like manny ortiz jessica cabasi um you know francisco hernandez you can see right off the bat what their work is like and i don't see them shooting a lot of nude pinups and i don't see that not again nothing to say that you know any photographer out there that does do those things but you know what i'm saying you can't just write off someone that takes landscapes or wildlife photography as a pervert because he you get what i'm saying it makes no sense but that's the kind of world we live in right people number three is going to be the raw photos this is where some photographers is probably going to disagree because this is a very polarizing topic most people that i've shot with don't really care for the raw photos but i can see why it would get annoying to ask because the thing is clients want okay let me start with what i do usually in my sort of thing if i charge by let's say 300 right you get all the unedited photos you get to pick your top five that i can edit for free and then every photo after that is like mm, i don't know 15 bucks right right so check it out some clients will feel the need to say oh do we get the raw photos as well now when they say this i usually don't get all up in arms like a lot of other photographers that i've seen because a lot of times they just really don't know the ins and outs of what a raw file is so let me go ahead and break it down uh for those of you clients out there who's saying that, um, please stop because first of all, you cannot access a raw file. It's not a, a, a finished image. It's just not. Unless you have an editing software like Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever else to operate those things, you're not going to be able to do anything with that raw file. The raw file is just that, a raw file. It's, it's again, going back to what I, what I going back to the meaning of photography that I'm sure some of y'all don't care about it is the study of light all those pixels everything that that camera everything that the camera sensor captures in that instant is compressed into that raw file now the reason why it's a raw file is because you want to shoot at maximum quality you want to be able to edit it in post make it look pretty do all those things without it completely just falling apart and save you got to save the detail if you take a picture on your iphone nine times out of ten it's a jpeg any post any picture you post on instagram is going to be a jpeg social media jpeg those are not raw files please understand what a raw file is before you ask for it unless you have an editing software you're not going to be able to do anything with that raw file and also some photographers just want to keep that because it's their property honestly it came out of their camera at that point in time etc it is theirs to do with as they please now they can get rid of it but that's up to you and them right cool valid dope all right let's go number two that i really hate honestly and we're really getting up there is when i'm being compared to another photographer like oh my god listen guys we all started somewhere again i started on my iphone right and i see a lot of other photographers and they do some great work and i continue to this day to get inspired by other photographers i'm subscribed to high-end photographers and people who are just starting out or at least on youtube like myself and i show the same amount of support as if they're the same because there is always room to learn from these people honestly but one thing i will not tolerate and i really freaking hate is when someone says oh so how come their picture looks so much better than yours or, you know i mean your your pictures i'm like look sometimes all right if it, <laughs> let me say this if it's coming for me and love for me i appreciate it but at the same time i'm like come on now as a photographer like i like i wouldn't i wouldn't want to be i, don't, I wouldn't want to be compared like i just i don't know i just hate it because we are constantly growing photography as an art is no different than painting and such and so forth there's always room to grow there's always room to get inspired by other people doing the same thing as you so this isn't a competition this is not a bloodbath this is just everybody sharing their creativity with one another and the world honestly inspire the world there's nothing else to say about that i don't want to be compared i don't want to think of another person as less than or their work is worse now will i give my two cents on certain things like hey 
I would recommend trying this or try it that way. See what kind of result you get. There's there's ways to do this that you won't come off as a jerk um, when you're just trying to help people. And, you know, there's, there's always going to be someone out there that's quote unquote better than you. So keep that in mind. But yeah, comparing, you really shouldn't be comparing anybody. But when it comes to photography, yeah, nah, please don't, don't, don't do that. Or just do constructive criticism. Or just give a compliment. That's how I like. Don't 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 pin two people against each other for no reason. Like that's. And finally, the number one thing that I just dread, and I mean hate, hate when it comes to people and my work, is the whole undermining it thing. Oh my gosh, this makes my blood boil. Wow, these photos are great. Oh, thank you. Now I like I, I now I like that. You know what I hate though? You know what I hate? Okay, can I see your work? Sure thing. Here, go ahead, right here. Hmm, okay. You take pictures. <sighs> okay. Alright. Would you ever go up to Michael Jackson and tell him, Oh, you move your feet? Would you ever go up to Whitney Houston and say, Oh, okay, you raise your voice? Why on God's green? Well, you know what? I actually know why. When you undermine somebody's creativity and craft like that, this goes back to what I was saying about how photography is just something that is completely unappreciated nowadays by most people because it's just not mainstream. No one cares about the person behind the camera. No one cares. And all right, you know, it makes sense. The psychology of the mind, center stage theory, all that stuff. I get it, honestly. But... This makes my blood boil on so many levels because it's like, as a photographer, you pour so much dedication and effort into making your final craft. Everything, the raw files, going through the struggles with pricing, being compared to other people. I can go, on, like I just said, all those things. And here comes someone saying, oh, you just take pictures. And the funny thing is, I see so many like reels on Instagram. It's a soundbite now where they're like, oh, <laughs> you can never, it can never be a real job or a real hobby. Or all you do is press a button or it's always something that they try to do to just undermine what you do. Because again, no one really cares about photography or photographers. Let's just call that what it is. I can't tell you how many times I've like had people straight up say that to me or just like undermine what the hell I do or just try to basically make it seem like all I do is press a button. Pressing a button is just part of the process. Again, framing, composition, the study of light itself. None of y'all know how... Let me not go on, but I'm gonna just say this. If you're gonna undermine someone's photography, then please just keep your thoughts to yourself. Constructive criticism at its, its finest. That's what we need. We don't need anybody else coming into our lives telling us that all we do is not a real job, a, a easy hobby. It's not even that, that. White noise in one ear, right out the other. Please, you know what I'm saying? Because if you have a hobby and a specialty, you don't want someone coming to you and saying it's it's minuscule or it's easy because of one minute thing that you do or it's just not in the mainstream media and it's not talked about like that. You know what I'm saying? So this might not apply to you as a photographer, but I personally, I think this is number one for me because I just, I, I can't stand that. I can't stand that. But I'm signing off guys. I just wanted to get on here and share with y'all like what I really hate as, you know, not as a photographer, but what but what I experienced as a photographer, which one's the top. Like I, I had to get it off my chest. And if you can relate, drop a like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Tell me about your experience as a photographer. Has any of these things happened to you personally? You got anything new that happened to you that I didn't list? Let me know in the comments down below. Pro Madras, stay creative. Adios.